Here we go. Online hackers. The worst cut. There's a few different cuts. Some will hack you and hold your account for ransom. That way you can't do business and other things or access your information. They need to be hunted down and put in jail. Then you have hackers, kids in college learning what to do. And they get in there and they'll screw things up on purpose and send messages out that you didn't send. Make it look like, you know, you sent all these messages or looked at dirty pictures just to be screwing with you. Those are kind of harmless. They kind of make fun of you and screw with you. But it's ridiculous to go get on your account and you can't do nothing. Your features are frozen or missing. It's even happened to a couple of mine. It's terrible. Some minor stuff, not too severe, but it's ridiculous. You need to put better procedures into place. The social media giants, they need to put more security features in place that when they go to train these people, that's where it happens. Just getting through high school and they start to enter these universities. And they go into computer pro pro programming. <clears throat> and that's where they learn to hack. And that's where the, the, the faults come into play, what play into the advantage of the hacker's hands. See? So that's where some of the weak spots are when they're going into training these computer people to go in and fix your account, set up websites, and all these other things. So that's where they need to start. That's where the preventative measures to come into play. As they're teaching them, they have to put more procedures into place as they go through levels of education. And also, the ones that are being taught, they need to be licensed and bonded, I think, so we can track them, especially on different security levels, okay? You know, social media sites, it's still a big deal, but then where you get in, like, say, I got a business online, you know, and you're selling goods and services, and somebody hacks your account, now nobody can come to your site and buy your products or services. So basically, you can go bankrupt overnight, and your credit get ruined, and everything else because of a hacker. Totally devastates you. And sometimes they can't fix your account. You got to buy a whole brand new website, get all your product service back up and running because that one's virtually junk. But anyway, back to what I'm saying. We need another system put into place when we go to train these people in the universities to get them licensed and bonded to track the hackers. Just like a driver's license, you know, or a birth certificate. We need to have all these suckers licensed like a brand. Just like, we know who you are, we know where you got trained, and we can track you. And the ones that got different security levels that work on different levels of computer skills. That way, when things go wrong, we can track these suckers down. And then as it gets on the government websites or they get into military sites or weapons control, or where they can buy illegal arms and other things online, and screw things up that creates a very dangerous atmosphere so we need to put together more laws and procedures to keep track of all these people we're training to go in and screw with our computers because they're messing up people's livelihoods and it could end up costing people's lives especially when there's weapons on the line and other things it's terrible when they start hacking law enforcement or border patrol and security features where people are coming and going across our borders, that's a big deal. Especially when they get fake IDs and they're, they're making them active. So now you get criminals over here into, into America that actually shouldn't have been able to even come over here. See? Because these hackers are providing these criminals with a new identity. And it's they're getting across our borders because of hackers. They hack into the DMV. They hack into identity. They give them a new identity. And Joe, our corrupted president, is letting these prisoners out and filing them under refugees. Oh, they're just poor people in a country coming out of bull. They're criminals with new identities coming into America. And it's hackers are the ones responsible for this. And our current administration 
So it's time to drain the swamp, put some new laws and procedures into place, and start putting serial numbers on all these people we're training in universities so we can start tracking them. That's how it's going to be to keep an eye on things, and cut down on online corruption, and letting illegal criminals into our country, all because of hackers. So watch out. Till next time.